previously on Titletown, Texas. There's definitely some expectations where we always do well. I mean, last year, semifinals, we lost. That was a disappointment. Logan is the epitome of Cowboy Up. I just remember there was punt to the opposite side of me and I was running across the field and he just went to come back across the field and so I just went to plant and then my knee just popped really loud and it just fell out from underneath me. Every parent's nightmare, you know, when they're playing and you just hope that it's twist, pull, something. I just want to say, is that child? Is that child? You know, with Logan going out, man, that's a, that's a heartbreaker. I mean, I was devastated because it's my senior year. I have two more games. I mean, I'm lucky to play as long as I did without a serious injury. We call him the lurker because when once the ball is caught, he's he's coming. He's coming to hit hard. It's part of football. It's a violent sport. It is. You know, there, there's nothing easy about it. And it's unfortunate that he tore his ACL. It's awful. I mean, I can't imagine. I mean, we've been working so hard. With Logan, it's, it's very heartbreaking because he's my baby. And it's over. Coach Wood said, you never know whenever your last play is coming, so enjoy it while it's here. Before you know it, you can be done. We need an answer to put it safety. You know, I remember thinking, who, what are we going to do? Coach Jones and offensive staff and Coach Wood, you know, we all talk together and say, what is best for the team? Bringing Donnie over to the defense was the final decision of this is what we need to do to give us the best opportunity. I'm trying to win the championship. I was like, okay. So here's the team. The quarterback wants to pull this football. He wants the bullet. He's the best football player on their on their team. He's as good as we're gonna see. He can get it, he can run, he can pass. He does a lot of good things. He obviously he's a running back. He wants to be playing running back, but he understands that for his team to win, he has to play safety, so he's going over. He didn't ask any questions, he didn't complain at all. He just went over there and did it. Well, can he learn it four days? You know, can he learn it through his? Can he really go up there and lay the wood on somebody? You know, across the middle. And you know, I feel I feel really confident and comfortable with Donnie back there. Just you know, he's so fast and athletic, man, because he can cover ground against a team this dang fast and explosive. Cutting to the right side at the 20, 25, 30, first down to the 40, 45, 50 into great run territory. That's Donnie Evans down the sideline with a man to beat, and he will score. Touchdown Bearcats. 85 yards of the Bearcats score on the first play from scrimmage. Practice that morning. Told everybody, guys, Harbaugh's going to come in. Just letting y'all know. And of course, all the guys did the tease. Oh, I'm Chuck Philly. Harbaugh's coming for me. I'm like, I mean, he's going to come look at all of us, not just me. I think it shows a lot, you know, for a guy like Coach Harbaugh to come all the way from Michigan to see Chuck. And, you know, every college in America would love to have a guy like Chuck. I love Texas football. I have a deep, abiding respect for Texas football. Coach Harbaugh was gracious enough that, you know, he talked to everybody. He talked to all the kids. You would think he, he was recruiting all of them. And then what does he do? He goes in there and he talks to us like we are the Michigan Wolverines. Your season. And your fate is in your hands. Think about what you know, think about what you're supposed to do, what your assignment is, and then six seconds of rage. And that six seconds should, should finish and get faster and finish at a crescendo. Even if, even if you step the wrong way, you know, it's chaos, just six seconds of rage will uh, we'll get the job done. We are pulling for you. Pulling hard for you. I got great respect for your, your program and your coach because you outwork people. You guys are doing a hell of a job. Finish strong. Win the championship. Thanks.
Now Bearcat Nation comes out. This is the fifth round. Anyone who's ever lived here or been a part of this community comes out for these next two games. I think sometimes this game, the state semifinals, tougher than the state championship game. Anybody you play from Region 2 is going to be fast and talented. Boy, I think Poti, this is the biggest game, the hardest opponent Alito has faced all year. You got the Alito with one bullet short of, in the gun, and probably the big bullet, Logan Childs, the glue of the secondary. So it's time for people to grow up. Y'all ready? Ready to go, Donnie. Feeling good? Y'all know it's so quiet. Yeah, this has been on our mind since last year, since we lost the game, since that day, because we're seeking for revenge. This year, we we confident, and we are going to play productive. All right, guys, you're landing on the line, playing relentless, playing as fast as you can and as physical as you can. Everybody got it? Yes, sir. Because we are undoubtedly all in. All in, every play. Everybody got it? Yes, sir. We are in a covered arena, the Ford Center at the Star in Frisco, the $1 billion world headquarters for your Dallas Cowboys. This is what we've been dreaming about since we're in Pee Wee. It's our time. we got to go out and protect it tonight. Hell yeah. Let's go. Day by day. Day by day. We get better, better. We get better. We get better. We get better. We Bearcats get set for a semifinal matchup here today with the Poteen Pirates. Bearcats did win the toss. They have deferred, so Poteen will take it. The winner of this ball game moves on to next Friday's Class 5A Division II State Championship game. That'll be an 8 o'clock kickoff at at t Stadium in Arlington. Safety Logan Childs is out for the game, not able to go tonight. But Donnie Evans will get the start at safety tonight in this ball game. A quick toss out in the flat. That one's nearly picked off by Webb, but he misses the football. Broken tackle, Cha Cha Corbin. Drop back off the shotgun snap, throw over the middle. And that ball is picked off of the 10. Return of the 20 to the 30 yard line. Wyatt Harris to the 40. Johnny Evans, they're going right at him. Converted running back. Playing physical, they got a tip ball, and Alito's got the ball back. Receivers wide to the left. Power pistol formation handoff. It'll be a sweep to the left side. McClellan, 45. Midfield to the 40. He's got a step to the 30. McClellan to the 20. To the 10. To the 5. He's tripped up in the 3. A 42-yarder. Handoff chase McClellan. He'll waltz into the end zone. Touchdown, Bearcats. And with less than four minutes gone, the Bearcats lead it 6 to nothing. Dylan Davis, two receivers to the right, one to the left. Play fake, hit, that's a fumble. It's picked up, then fumbled again. Picked up in the five, touchdown, OT. Gonna throw under pressure, dropped by Red Harris, back at the 38 yard line. Six on the play long. Let's go. Let's go. Third down and 13 coming. Big play here for the Bearcat defense. Fletcher looking to throw over the middle and Donnie is able to get his either a hand on, on, on the receiver's hand or four. Good snap. Davis fires. Caught in the 25, broken tackle, Jeffress. 10, 5, touchdown, Bearcats. Fletcher looking to throw again. Rushed out, he's hit from behind. Did the ball come free? Bearcats pick it up. Return to the 30, one man to beat, 20, 10, out of bounds. The big boy was lumbering. Why are you so slow? 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 I went by black down, man. I didn't know what the hell to do. Just run on it. Ginormous package still in there. Quarterback sneak leaning, leaning. Did he get in? Touchdown, Bearcats.
Shotgun snap. Fletcher looking. Waiting for his man to break. Now finds him. And that one is picked off at the 44-yard line. Donnie Evans. The Bearcats, who fell short at this level a year ago after having won two consecutive state championships and five of six, are headed back to the big stadium to play on the big stage for the big trophy. Your final score here today, Alito 38, Poti 14. Couldn't be any more proud of you. I want you to celebrate. I want you to enjoy it. And then we go and get ready because we got one more week. Davis beard, man. I know, so I'm saying I have never last won year. state without a Davis beard. I have a last year. Should have never let you shave. Coach Harbaugh walked in, you know, he walked in and had us out there, walked straight in, and he dirtied our carpet. You know, I was going to tell Maul to just frame it. That is Coach Harbaugh's footstep and dirt on our carpet. So we could just cut that piece out and sell it. <laughs> or frame it. <laughs>